Hello and welcome to the Fremont Group webinar, Creating a Business That Works. My name is Dirk Dieters. I'm the Executive Director of the Fremont Group. And this webinar is Optimizing Productivity. The Fremont Group is a nonprofit organization supporting small to mid-sized business owners. Our headquarters are in Aurora, Colorado, but our success partners are throughout the United States. We provide resource materials, webinars, management consulting, coaching, mentoring, outsourced accounting services, and benefit packages to our clients. For more information about us, visit our website at www.tfginfo.org. A key component of our management consulting is the maximization of a company's productivity. The Fremont Group has developed a proprietary system for the measurement and tracking of a company's productivity. This provides useful indicators for management control. Productivity is the key component in profitability. However, the Fremont Group has taken this concept far beyond the normal calculations to provide our clients with unparalleled vision of how their company works. In our opinion, traditional accounting has greatly hampered the business owner. And in our system of managerial accounting, you will receive a new perspective in your company. What is productivity? Productivity is a measure of the impact that an asset has on your profitability. Therefore, we identify different assets and measure their impact on your profitability. By establishing a baseline level of productivity for your company in each category, we can then track the increase or decrease variance of each variable on a monthly basis. However, each company is unique, and by working with your success partner, the desired categories and reporting can be developed and customized to your business. We focus you on four key assets, human resources, capital resources, equipment resources, and management resources. We we'll start with human resources. This category is a prime example of how traditional accounting lacks effectiveness for the small business owner. As almost any owner will tell you, one of their most valuable resources are their people. So where do accountants list your employees on your balance sheet as an asset? Answer, they don't. Instead, they list them as an expense on your income statement, which then causes misguided owners to focus only on reducing wages and reducing that category, thinking that that's how they maximize productivity or profitability, when in fact what they should be doing is nurturing it towards its maximum effectiveness to maximize its productivity. How do you measure your human resources? First, your success department determines the real total cost of your employees. This excludes owner compensation. But it does include all wages, payroll burden, vacation pay, benefits, cost of turnover, and any other expenses directly related to your employees. This sum is then determined year to date or over the past 12 months and divided into the company net adjusted profit for that same period. This provides you with a baseline. Basically, it's how much bang are you getting for your buck on your payroll. The formula is then replicated each month in reporting to determine the human resource productivity for that month and you compare it to your baseline. With your success partner, you develop strategies for improving your HRP focus in four of the different areas that you deal with employees, recruitment, training, development, and retention. The Fremont Group has developed proprietary formulas for measuring employee value to the company so that you can focus your resources upon the most valuable members of your workforce. With your success partner, you will develop and implement, through effective delegation hopefully, strategies to improve your performance in each one of these areas. The second category is capital resources. Once a managerial approach has been implemented to your chart of accounts, your capital resources then can be correctly determined by your current assets from your balance sheet. These tend to be dominated by three line items, 
cash, accounts receivable, and inventory. As we did with human resources, the total amount is divided into the net profit to provide your baseline and then is monitored monthly to discover any changes. Again, working with your success partner, you will develop strategies for maximizing each of your current assets. Cash retention strategies can be worked into your budget and cash flow. Accounts receivable strategies can be developed and inventory terms monitored and maximized. Again, this is an area where owners can be misguided by traditional accounting. Accountants, in particular bankers, can focus you on your current ratio. This is a valuable computation and can help if you are evaluating liquidity or making a buy or wait decision. However, your current ratio, which is your current assets divided by your current liability, benefits from an increase in current assets. If your greatest current assets is your accounts receivable line, that may not be in the best interest of profitability. Additionally, there's a point where too much cash retention is also not in your best interest. So examine these with your success partner. Bankers in particular like high current ratios because it means that you're very capable of paying your bills on time, which is their only focus. They really don't care if you are making money. They simply want to have their loan paid back each month on time. The third category is equipment resource productivity. Without repeating myself, this measurement is a mirror image of the capital resource productivity. Simply replace current assets with fixed assets from your balance sheet. This then takes into account all of your fixed assets, which are your equipment and uh, and the desk, things that you would not normally convert into cash in the next six months. And you can then compare that to your productivity, your, excuse me, to your profit, to determine the productivity of those fixed assets and make the same monitoring and uh, focus uh, as you would in any of the other categories. The fourth category is the interesting one, managerial productivity. This is the one that measures you as an owner. How much are you worth to your company? It would be an easy computation. However, at the by looking at simply looking at profit. However, in Fremont Group, we believe there's only one reason for your business to exist, and that is to make your life better. Better. And in the major focus of making the lives of most of our owners better is time. And so, in computing managerial productivity, we don't look at your compensation. Rather, we look at the amount of time that you are spending to do it. We compute the number of hours that you spend working in a period and divide that into the net profit produced. This is the dollars per hour that you are producing for your company. I know that scares many owners, but then after is the baseline that they've created, a new focus takes place that can significantly improve your quality of life. When you are realizing how much money you're producing per hour and trying to maximize it, you will reduce the number of hours you spend and try to maximize the profit that goes into it. As a footnote back, uh, your owner's compensation does have to be taken out of the uh, wages for employees in computing their productivity. And lastly, your owner's compensation uh, has to be uh, tempered by what, what you're if you're working in the business and doing a job and so the net profit can be manipulated also through owner's compensation uh, obviously i can lower your net profit significantly just by paying you more and i can raise your profitability considerably just by not paying you and so what we have to determine is what is a reasonable compensation for the uh, functions that you are providing uh, for the company in place of hiring an employee to do so. That you can work out with your success partner, and that's kind of a 2.0 uh, project. In summary, working with your success partner to maximize your productivity in each of those four areas has a huge impact on your company and your life. There are other areas that we Admitted. We may look at, say, for example, uh, sales productivity and your sales costs uh, and what that's producing, and your success partner will customize it to your 
particular business and the way you are working and what your needs actually are. Uh, but by doing so, you will see where, which assets are producing, where and where they aren't. You begin to prioritize your focus and as a result, you have a more profitable company and a better quality of life. Give us a call. We start with an initial consultation that takes place for two days on your site and results in an action plan to address and prioritize the issues that are in the way of you accomplishing your goals. These are what we refer to as the rocks in the road. We hope to hear from you. My name is Bill Peters. I'm the Executive Director of the Fremont Group. Give us a call at 303-338-9300.